Campbell, the hidden gem of the Silicon Valley with just over 40,000 residents, has a rich history of community involvement and innovation dating back to the 1800s. With residents establishing a railroad stop and business owners being the first to provide on-site daycare, meals, and cottages for their workers. They also established volunteer fire department and later Northern California's first paramedic team. Given this legacy of innovation, how can we continue to connect with our community to shape Campbell's future? The innovation team was established to go out and ask community members, what can we do to inspire you? The original goal for this project was to develop an innovative new process for community engagement to provide insight on community wants and needs for the next 10 years and beyond. We then hope to utilize that information to develop a new vision statement for a general plan update. After reviewing our current outreach methods, it was clear that we needed to do a better job at engaging our community. So our goal then changed to developing a successful civic engagement process that encourages feedback from our residents, customers, and business community. We took our survey to the streets of Campbell and gathered input from Campbell residents, Campbell business owners, and Campbell shoppers. We used a variety of methods to spread the word about our survey. We used our community connections, a variety of emails, as well as our social media networks. We looked internally for feedback and recommendations and forwarded the survey to the City of Campbell employees. We were amazed with the results with almost 600 survey responders and of that, 452 were Campbell residents, meeting 1% of our population. We also collected 332 unique emails from community members who wanted to be involved in updating our general plan. The survey also taught us a lot about our community and how they want to be engaged. Here you can see younger residents were unaware of how to get their ideas heard. We learned that most of our community members are interested in being involved. We learned that alternate participation methods and ease of access to information are critical components to engaging our residents. Our community wants to be able to engage or provide feedback using email or other online options. Time was identified as a main barrier to participation provide a centralized location for easy access of information. People are not aware of how to get their ideas heard but are interested in being involved. Be clear about what we ask people and how their participation will be used. Alternate methods of participation other than attending meetings are needed. Provide clear and concise communication that can be easily understood. Provide reminders and advance notice of meetings and issues. The city's website is not user-friendly and information is not clear. People want to learn about relevant topics. We wanted to test the feedback we received from the survey to determine if we could create improved civic engagement. We decided to use the current Civic Center Master Plan project as our test case. The project was headed to a council study session and we decided to create an informational email and send it out to the community. As a team, we agreed that the information needed to be reframed and put into language that the general public could relate to and understand. First, we defined the terms and location used in the project, 
understanding that most people did not know what the term Civic Center was in reference to. Using topics we learned from the Academy, we then started with the why so that information would have meaning to our readers. We included photos of the current facilities and descriptions that demonstrated the ongoing issues and further highlighted the importance of the master plan and the need for new facilities. In addition, we notified them that the upcoming council study session would be televised so that an alternative way to participate was provided. We then sent an electronic newsletter to the collected emails. Again, we were amazed with the results with an open rate of 75% when the market average is 30%. We also had 67 people live view the webcast of the study session, whereas prior council webcasts receive only 22 views. Although it is a small sample, we do think our test showed that making the information easily accessible and understandable, communicating the information through a preferred method, and framing the information to create interest resulted in increased community engagement and involvement in a project that is extremely important to the city. Participation in the Alliance for Innovation's Innovation Academy introduced us to key concepts of innovation and community engagement. The process of design thinking served as a guiding framework for the steps we undertook as we sought to innovate community engagement. After viewing Simon Sinek's TED Talk, Start with the Why, we examined our organization's current community engagement and communications through a new lens. We observed that simply reframing the conversation would better connect people to our city. The International Association of Public Participation describes public involvement as occurring at five levels, ranging from informing all the way to empowering. Not all community engagement is the same, and the design and format of the engagement needs to be matched to the purpose and intended outcomes. Our first recommendation is to use clear, concise communication to inform and interact with community members. We feel that we need to clarify responsibilities for communications, develop an improved communication strategy, and provide training. In addition, when we ask for participation, we let the public know how the information will be used and follow up with final outcomes. Provide alternative methods for the public to engage with the city. Examples of this include designated web-based community engagement software, social media, apps, face-to-face, -face, video conferencing, website, podcast, blogs, vlogs, and electronic notifications. Make all relevant information easily accessible, transparent, and available in advance. Examples of this will include making the website more user-friendly, improved notification methods for meetings, increase staff outreach to the community, and evaluate when city meetings should be televised. In addition, look for opportunities to provide high-level summaries of complex communications. Create and nurture a culture of innovation within our organization. In order to do this, we recommend that we are more intentional about innovation where we include this in job descriptions and performance evaluations. Provide opportunities for team building and social opportunities across departments to improve cross-department collaboration. Develop a recognition program for innovations and improvements. Campbell's population of passionate residents, unique business leaders, and revolutionary thinkers continuously inspires us. Building the future of Campbell must be a collaborative effort. In order to do this, we must listen to our community and improve our communications by creating clear, meaningful documentation. We must let people know about public issues in advance and be consistent. We must respect the time constraints of our community and develop strategies for engaging them that span the life cycle of the project from the first idea to the final step. We must find alternative methods to only meeting inside of the council chamber. We must use technology from 2015 and beyond to invite more of the community into the discussion. This includes video, audio, internet, social media, apps, cell phones, tablets, phablets, surveys, email, webinars, podcasts, events, socials, and if these change, then so must we, whatever it takes. 
We must make information easily accessible and put it in one place where it can be easily found. Update our website, adapt to the community's needs, stay connected, whatever it takes. We must nurture a culture of innovation within our organization so that we can recognize the innovation around us and use this to build the future, to engage the community that make Campbell a vibrant, energizing, and jovial place to live, work, and visit now and in the next 10 years, whatever it takes. Thank you.